In this speed demo video, we'll learn how to build a simple 3D city using Microsoft PowerPoint. Let's go over the design of an example PowerPoint city in this model walkthrough. This model is one of the many PowerPoint 3D models available in our huge collection of reference models. Check out the link in the video description. Here's the model file. Click to select the model. Go to Format Shape. Click the Effects tab, then expand the 3D Rotation tool, and choose Perspective, Front. This is the original view of the model. We're designing the city from a map view, building from the ground upwards. The city consists of six main groups. There are four city section groups, one city streets layer or shape, and one city ground shape. All four city sections are copies of one single section, the base design. Now let's look at the city section. The city section contains buildings and their windows or lights. Buildings and windows, or lights, are simple blocks, drawn from 2D rectangles. Groupings are based on building heights. Very large and tall buildings have additional customizable shapes. Lights are also grouped based on their heights. Now we'll see a speed demo showing how to build the simple 3D city using PowerPoint. First, split the section according to streets. Draw the main streets and smaller streets. Add buildings of various shapes and sizes. Draw what you like. After all, this is your very own creation. If you like, you can even recreate an existing city or a town. In this example, we're just using rectangles to keep it very simple. Next, group the buildings according to their heights. Use the Shape Union tool. Temporarily hide the completed groups to see the remaining buildings.
add details to the bigger and taller buildings. Group the high-rise buildings. You can set the building colors now, or you can do it later. Next, we'll add the light or window groups, starting with the lowest level. Make sure the rectangles extend beyond the building walls. Bigger rectangles are easier to draw, copy, and move around. When you complete the level, group the rectangles into a single free-form shape using the Shape Union tool. This reduces the number of shapes or layers you need to deal with. PowerPoint also runs smoother with a smaller number of shapes. Hide the previous buildings and lights. Then work on the next level of lights. Repeat until you have enough light levels to your satisfaction. Now group all the art layers into a section group. Scale down the section and duplicate to temporarily create three other sections. Rotate come sections to make them look less uniform. Connect the streets between the sections. Remove the temporary city sections. It's time to turn the shapes into a 3D city. To save time, work on one section and duplicate this 3D formatted section to make the remaining sections. Set the 3D distances from ground and 3D depths for all the art layers or shapes, starting from the lowest city parts. For the roofs, apply bevels like the angle, round, or convex bevels. Next, we'll work on the lights, moving from the ground up to the highest levels.
Adjust the colors, 3D materials, and 3D lighting as you like. Duplicate the city section to create the three other sections. Group everything together. Customize some details like the roofs so each section looks different. You can also go to design, themes to change the color scheme. Bonus tip. Select a building and use the Edit Points tool to add more details to your buildings. Happy creating!